He was using a fish fillet knife and he had tilted my head to the left a little bit, just held it sideways, and he was actually sawing across my neck. Like he was trying to cut a piece of wood. As he would saw, it would cut in a little bit deeper and eventually went almost the entirety, you know, from side to side of my neck at the time. I incidentally started screaming. First thought through my head was, I'm about to die, I'm not gonna make it through this. Then I can't scream anymore. I couldn't make any more noises. I couldn't breathe through my mouth or my nose. When I tried to take a breath, I felt it going into my air pipe straight from my throat. I was so warm and I knew that wasn't right because I was in the cooler, I should have been cold. And then I looked down and I just saw myself covered in blood and realized that was the warmth I was feeling. It wasn't really squirting out like what you would see in the movies. It was more of just kind of running like a waterfall. I really wasn't very scared anymore. I was just logically thinking, how can I get myself out of this situation to be able to make it? I turned my head a little bit, more my body than my head, and saw that he hadn't quite shut the cooler door all the way. So that was my escape route. I pushed on it um, just to, to be able to crawl out. As soon as I pushed on it, I saw his feet walk back into my line of vision. Instantly, my heart dropped. I knew he wasn't going until he thought that I was dead. He grabbed my hair again and started sawing across my throat for the second time. He only got in about two or three cuts when I realized that I have to do something to make him think that I'm dead. And I collapsed and played possum on the floor. While I was laying there, I thought that he was gone. I wasn't for sure. I didn't hear any more footsteps. I couldn't hear him breathing. I couldn't hear any sounds except for my own gurgling as I took a breath. I was just thinking, how am I gonna get out of this? How am I gonna recover? I knew I had lost too much blood. I knew there was no way for me to call anybody. I couldn't use my cell phone because I couldn't talk and me not being able to talk they wouldn't be able to find out exactly where I was.